Okay, so this video is about release. Uh, first off, there is many, many things you can do to improve release, but one of them is not training on your release. Uh, your release is a culmination of things. All of the videos that we put in front of this video, so all of the videos that we have already done, um, will result in a certain release. Um, so people who say I am working on my release are essentially working on either their extension, their balance, uh, uh, maybe yes. the, relaxing the fingers, maybe uh, the, the, the clicker. Um, it's a combination of uh, different things that form a release. Um, and it's something very personal. So uh, this is something that we wanted to stress uh, you guys and, and talk about uh, because Actively working on a release means that you are working on other aspects in your technique that form a release. So, um, yeah, we're going to talk about a few of those aspects, but um, most of them we've already talked about in the previous videos. So, yeah, this will be uh, maybe a bit of a short one. So, um, I think the most important thing about the release is the extension and after that, uh, the hook on your string. So, you can, by getting a good uh, solid hook on the string uh, and not tensing your fingers too much. So having a relaxed hook on the string will form a proper release if you do the extension right. So uh, we're gonna see how Yap's hook is and uh, see uh, how we can work on it. So uh, the hook on the string, basically you have um, three joints on your fingers and you want it to be close or into the joint the first joint of the fingers to see if you can just make the string uh, really hang from your fingers. So. Yeah. And then when he's pulling back his wrist and forearm should be as relaxed as possible. So this one should be relaxed and not uh, doing anything. And then when the clicker goes, the string just basically slides off the fingers because it's easy to relax even more. If your fingers are really stressed, so if you're really pinching your fingers on the string and then the clicker goes, you really have to like let go of the string and I can demonstrate this with a light bow. So first I'm going to uh, show you what happens if I have a lot of tension on the fingers. So I'm really pinching, you can see it in my forearm as well, all the tendons uh, tense up. So I'm pinching, pinching, pinching. And then I really have to open my fingers. Uh, it's, it's difficult to get a proper release then. Whereas if I were to just have a simple hook, and you can see that my, uh, my wrist is relaxed, I can really move my wrist still around. So I'm just pulling back my bow, and the string is hanging. Now it's, I'm, I'm exaggerating a bit, so my, my bottom finger is slipping off, even because uh, this bow is so light that I can really relax. But by just Having it hang here, and I can still move everything. You can see that the fingers just slide off the string. You can uh, practice this by get, grabbing a light bow and just having your wrist hang here and pulling it back just at 10 centimeters and then just relaxing the fingers. If you tense it too much, even with 10 centimeters of pulling it back, you can see that I'm tensing it too much and then it's difficult for me, it's even difficult to release. So uh, let alone in full draw when I'm also aiming and paying attention to other things. So the key to releasing is a good extension, a good way of extending and having a relaxed hook rather than a tense hook. So this is a bit of a short one, uh, there's not much to be learned here except for the fact that everything you learned up until this point has effect on your release and will make your release better if you do it properly. So um, yeah, I would say uh, up, uh, go to the next step, uh, which is a follow through and uh, I'll see you back tomorrow for that one.